Mr. Holmes, what a compelling mystery we have stumbled upon. Perhaps I have the premise of my next novel. Huh. One kidnapping does not a story make. Stop! A black cat crossed before us. It's a bad omen. I do not take you for the superstitious type, Doctor. Such things are mere fantasies, tricks of a feeble mind. One imagines a physician would keep a surer footing in reality. Perhaps, before the war, my time abroad was difficult. Once, I came across an Afghan, bleeding, who I could not save. He pressed a rosary into my hand. A gift, he said, so as to gain God's favor. After that... Dr. Watson? Yes, well, I shan't get into details, but sometime later I found myself lost in the desert. Dehydration set in, and things grew ever more dire. The man's words came to me. I said a prayer and placed the rosary on a rock. A gift to gain God's favor. And you were rescued? Yes. A detachment of British soldiers found me. To whom I'm grateful. Without their diligence, you would not be standing here and I would not have this case. I'm sure you have another explanation prepared, Mr. Holmes, but I think I shall cling to the occasional superstition all the same. To each his own, Dr. Watson. So long as it does not interfere with my methods, do it. We must press on, cat or no cat. The question remains, why abduct Kimmy here? What's up guys, Amage is back with a new episode of Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. Okay. We finished chapter one, today's chapter two time. Uh, I would just say let's fucking go. I'm really hyped. So Sherlock can ask bystanders about a piece of evidence. Press C to open the case book, pin the evidence with X, and then speak to someone. Try it now with the calling card. Let's do that. Source B's calling card. Found at the scene of Kimihia's abduction, the card has some text printed on it that reads Roy Soulsby, London. In evidence and then let's talk to someone I only see one person around it appears that the saltpeter explosion rattled the locals can't blame them for staying at home can't blame them who the fuck are you could you help me I think I can help you the man usually wanders close to the dockyard can I go into here oh yes I can oh oh nice hello Reputable establishment. I've seen worse. Don't be like that. Come on. Greetings, miss. I'm hoping you can help us. We shall soon see. I heard tell of a recent explosion in the port. What do you know of it? Ah, yes. Something exploded in a ship's cargo hold. Caused a terrible blaze. The sky was red with smoke till morning. Where precisely did it occur? The ship sank near the third pier. Next to the dockyard. My colleague and I are seeking a burly man, above average height, with workman's boots. Half my customers, then. Your description hardly narrows things down. I can imagine. Let's observe her. Come on. So, let's see what we can find out about her. Do we have here? Her chin seems to be of interest. The chapped lips. Alright, oh yeah. They look kinda dry. Dirt on her blouse. Vomit stains. Morning sickness. Okay. A bit distended. Okay, what? A little too tight. Sorry, I was I was playing around with my mic and somehow I Yeah, messed up my settings. Um the barmaid is in the early stages of pregnancy, hence the slightly distended belly and hints of morning nausea. Chapped lips and a pale face indicate a lack of proper nutrition, however. She tries hiding her swollen belly by wearing trousers that are too tight for her. 
Uh, da, da, da. She clearly has yet to know of her pregnancy and she keeps wearing her usual clothes, which are now too tight for her. <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, she will be aware of the morning sickness and everything, right? I have no fucking idea. And now he tells her that she's pregnant and she's like, What? I'm just fat. <laughs> oh. You're pregnant. Your clothes are already tight and soon they won't fit at all. How far along are you? I... I thought I'd hidden it better. How did you know? Are you a doctor? In a manner of speaking. He's not. He merely has the ego of one. <laughs> I apologize, miss. Mr. Holmes is fond of He merely has the ego of one. I'm okay, that, that's here, good. Him. Do you need any help? I'm fine, thank you. I would rather not discuss my condition, nor let word of it spread. Let's provide some evidence. Are you familiar with a Roy Soulsby? Roy Soulsby? Hmm, I know the name, but he's not one of my regulars. My guess is that he works somewhere around here. Is that so? What can I get you? That's all you're talking to me about? Okay, that's interesting. Can I, can I check the... Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Can I help you? Satisfy my curiosity. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't know anything. She's crying in the streets, and he's like, "Okay, oh, can you satisfy my curiosity, please?" Okay, let's let's go to the dockyard. Shanty town. Can you sing me some shanties, please? I love some sea shanties. I really just want to listen to some shanties. All right, so. Where are we? I have no fucking idea where we are. Okay, this is shanty town. So, okay, I was I was closer to the <laughs> to the dockyard in the beginning. Shit, I'm running in the wrong direction. It seems. Oh, what's that? What is that? Strong man needed for honest work. Apply for details at the pub any Wednesday. Help. Gervish missing for a week. Please tell if you see him. Ask Daya in Port Shantytown. Red rag over house entrance. Okay. A staff Gibraltar is seeking a carpenter and able seaman. Write to Captain Achab. Leaden Hall Street Post Office. Do I want to go to Shantytown? I, somehow I want to. What the fuck is this sound? Can you help me? Satisfy my curiosity. I'll be happy to help you. So listen to me. Listen to me. People say that Mr. Salisbury may have gone to watch the ship that exploded yesterday near the third pier. I'm sorry. <laughs> Holy shit! He looks like a zombie. What the fuck? Ma Dalton swears she saw ghosts in Warehouse Two. The coppers even went over there. New case. Ooh. Nice. Um I really want to Shantytown, Red Rag over house entrance. I really want to go there as well. Like where the fuck am I right now? I, I really hate that there's no proper point on the map that shows me where I am right now at the moment, you know? This is really rather difficult for me as someone who has no fucking sense of orientation. Okay. This shanty town and those are the red rags. Here we are. Hello. Oh, hello. Who are you? Is this where I may find Dea? You read the poster? Yes. You know where my brother Girves is? Sadly, no. Well, not yet. I want to speak to Dea. Is she around? Emma, my mother. She got sick after the hot, the fire. Big red smoke. She couldn't breathe, so I took her to the doctor. Now I am in charge. Where did you last see Girves? He worked at a um warehouse. This man, Roy Solby. Gave him the job. He paid him a ne a necklace. 
Do you still have the necklace that Soulsby gave to Gidavess? Gidavess left it near the um, shrine. I tried to sell it to buy um, a medicine, but but no one wanted to buy. How would you describe this Soulsby? He was big and strong. Um, he had a big scary eye. Scary, you say? Yes, like uh, like it was made of metal. Like it was made of metal. What? Uh, an eye it. made of metal. What the fuck? Okay, um, is this now officially a case or not? Like, where's my fucking case book? Seriously. The haunted warehouse. Uh, okay. Disappeared after Roy sold me. Okay, to this guy I have to go anyway. So, let's, you know what, let's go to the haunted warehouse now first. I like doing, doing side quests before the actual stuff. I really do. Let's, let's find warehouse 2. Wherever that might be. Very sick here. It sounds as though those people will need my help. Yep. A call for help. Hello, this is Dr. Watson. We'll take a look at your friend. Decolorized skin, initial stage of necrosis, severe blistering. Ooh. Freshly dug up treasures, it seems. <laughs> Everything ends up in a river. It's a good thing these people take something from it. The subject is hyperventilating. He has a pale face and dilated pupils. The water has a curious whitish tinge to it. Dilated pupils, decolorized skin, necrosis. What do you make of this, Doctor? All signs point towards a cute poison. It could possibly be used chemicals. I won't jump to any conclusions yet. It's a large harbor. If our kidnapper is hiding here, finding him won't be easy. Are you able to help me? I can't tell you because I don't know. I can't help it because I don't know. Uh, someone call the doctor. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's go. How can I help? I could try and flag someone down. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Well, come on, what, what do I do now with this information? Are you able to help me? I can't tell you because I don't know. Better to look for the source of contamination upstream. Okay. Where's upstream in this case? Here? You should probably not drink that if that's what you're currently doing. Oh, Watson, piss off. Could you help me? It is a shame I can't answer your question. <sighs> oh well. Oh, ah, there's something. Pile of rotten food. It carries danger, but not of the kind that we witnessed. Okay. Then let's continue. Oh, there's something. A dead dog. It's been decomposing for weeks. If this were the origin of the disease, it would have started sooner than a few days ago. The waterway goes under the buildings. We'll need to find other open sections in order to continue our search. Well, you don't... Oh, Watson, can you... P 
piss off, seriously. God damn it. There's always in a fucking way that's slightly annoying, to be honest. Where does the water continue? Come on. Come on. There are the warehouses, very good, and here's the water. This pipe disposes of wastewater from a factory, a possible culprit, but would likely have caused trouble a long time ago. Moving on. Mm, moving on. Human waste. Despite looking fairly hazardous, I doubt it could cause such acute poisoning. I can't see any other major source of contamination in this section of the waterway. Perhaps another place. Holy shit, okay. Broken through the force by force recently. Cart tracks under the weight oh, pressure. Fell sideways. That doesn't look too good. Brian, never load the trolley with more than half the weight of Danny Nutcracker or 200 pounds at a time. She did the Mexican flamingo with Joshua, and the poor thing is not running well since. A trolley, that is. Joshua broke long ago. Also, the ship from Barbados asked for one ton of fennel, so let's hurry up. Ivy spade chemicals. I think we found the culprit. Fennel, a dangerous substance often used as a sanitizer, coming from spade chemicals. The fish's scales have decolorized. What a disaster. What a disaster, but we found the reason. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? <laughs> if we stay out much longer, okay, I'm going to need some on. supper. Okay, come on. Where do I find spade chemicals? Excuse me, just one question. I think I can help you. The Spade Chemicals building is located at Warehouse 5. Okay, that's Warehouse 11. Okay, we're way too far. <laughs> way too far. <coughs> Let's search for Warehouse 5. 5. Alright. Found it. Are you Brian? of phenol from your company ended up in the canal. It has poisoned people. You will need to clean it up properly. Otherwise, we will inform the authorities. Yes. What the? We will call the cleaning brigade immediately. I hope this can stay between us. May I ask for your assistance? I can't help you with that, sir. Of course not. <laughs> If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Okay, now we need to go back to those guys and give them the info. What happened? Good evening, constable. Oh, I heard some ah. people talking of ghosts in this warehouse. <sighs> uh, gossips, all of them. An old lady neighbor saw some lights and ghostly shapes in the middle of the night. She heard music too. Turns out this was the warehouse of Grandpa Kujak. He owned a business with theater props for scary shows. I went in and... Well, it is a bit creepy. But I think it was probably just some kids fooling around. Do you mind if I take a look inside? Not at all. It's like Madame Tussauds, only worse. I'll be <laughs> on the beat round the pub for the rest of the night. Damned explosion. Good night, sir. Damned explosion. Okay, let's let's check. You know when we're here already, let's have a look.
Okay. An effective contraption. It still works. This could cause someone to think they saw some ghosts, I think. To be honest. And print. <laughs> Rectangular imprints, wooden splinters. In the coffin, it was removed quite recently. Uh, what else? Oh. A herbal odor with an acidic base. Liquor. Somebody had fun. Somebody had fun. Empty space, missing crates. Several crates are missing. Bottles of various shapes and sizes. I detect a mix of chemicals and aromas. No brand or markings. It looks like a bulk product. Inspired by the legend of Sleepy Hollow. There's an actual person inside, isn't there? It looks like it. Holy shit. Okay, no, I don't want to get out. Oh, what's that? That's most likely the ghost the old yes. lady saw through the window. Definitely. Look at that, that's the music. <laughs> Who is this intended to scare? Phosphorus used recently. Where is this going? <laughs> That's kind of fun. Come on, someone someone wanted to prank people and I I can get behind that to be honest. <laughs> okay, but it should be fairly easy to find out what happened. Yeah, no, definitely. A headless person walked up here. <laughs> Absolutely sure. Okay, someone mixed the stuff together. Someone summoned the ghost? Yes? No, that, that's definitely what happened. I'm missing something here. There are card tracks. Card they are missing. Tracks. Yes. Perfect. Now we have it. Yeah. No, the headless one was here. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, that's more likely. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I would love to give a go with the other solution, to be honest. Just because it's much more fun. So what two options do we have here? Yeah, there were crates in there. Let's go. Somebody played with phosphorus to give the illusion of ghosts or ectoplasm. In reality, they were here to mix a few ingredients and prepare a solution of some sort. Then they took a box hidden inside the casket. And they left through that gate with a small cart. Unfortunately, that is way more likely than anything else. <laughs> okay. The card can be tracked to find out more. Ooh, okay, okay. Nice. I love this. Oh, what was that? Oh, yeah, okay, let's get the warehouse. Okay, we still have to go back to these other guys. So, where are the card tracks? There they are. Let's go. Dr. 
Dr. Tippett's electric pecto brain. Patent medicine of the future. Of course. This is a patent medicine. A quick fix at an expensive price that drags the patient slowly into death. My car track stopped. The hell? Seriously? Why did my car track stop? All right, you know what? Let's let's finish this real quick, as we're here already. Gentlemen, the doctor here and I have found the source of the contamination. Spade Chemicals will take care of it. That's that's pretty good news. But how long will it take? And what about a friend? Will someone pay for his treatment? Pressurize the company, but for now get rid of the stained clothes and rinse any phenol affected skin. No one else should touch the canal today. Thank you, we'll do that. Let's go to the cheap doctor for help. You're welcome. You are absolutely welcome. Ah. Da, 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 da. Okay, I need to talk to people about that now. Okay, okay, okay. I have to check my my stuff more often, seriously. Come back here. Excuse me, just one question. <laughs> of course I know. To cut a long story short. Dr. Tibbet's elect Electric pecto brain can be found in shanty towns. It is dispensed in a yard to the sick and suffering. All right, let's go back to shanty town. It is handed to so ah. Where are we? Here we are. Field hospital. Look at that. Cart from warehouse two. Look at that. The patient has a high temperature and is short of breath. Baby face, very young. Ah, there are the green glowing powder. Phosphorus, yes, the green shit. Almost doctor, homemade medicine recipes. <laughs> uh, he's a charlatan. Come on, fuck off. Definitely. Good evening, sir. What else? Are you the gentleman who sells that intriguing hecto brain beverage? Good evening, gentlemen. I'm Dr. Good Thomas evening. Tippett, and yes, it's proud inventor and purveyor. Are you a doctor? You seem remarkably young. <laughs> I'm self-educated. I help people in need around these parts with my medicine. Helping, as in bringing to the grave? Uh, that is unfair, sir. The virtues of my invention are to calm the nerves, to stop coughing due to the endless smog, and to help children to sleep. Has your beverage been tested by your peers or any medical authority? I am a doctor. And it appears that you are playing with people's lives, people who place their trust in you to ease their pain. People need help, and drugs are expensive. My formula helps, and it's inexpensive. The product is dispensed from here only, so dose and usage are controlled. I looked into other patented medicines. They contain harmful or useless substrate, and they're sold in respected shops and pharmacies. Do you realize what you are doing? You are playing with people's health. You are a doctor. Take a look at my product. You won't find mercury, radium, lithium, or any other toxic substances drowned in alcohol and sold freely by so-called health professionals. I can show you how I work. Let me help people. Watson, what do you make of this situation? I, I'm not sure. Patent medicines can be a scourge, yes. But he is not entirely wrong in practice. Why the haunted warehouse? Well, nobody was using it, and people are afraid of ghosts. It kept them away until today. What I do is not entirely legal, but I do help people. I'm not so sure about this. I help up to 50 people here every day. It is working. The field hospital, the haunted warehouse, yeah. Uh, seems to be on his own mission to help those in need. The police can be informed of Tippett's activities or Tippett can go on helping, albeit imperfectly. I'm not sure. 
I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to do. Hmm. I'm. I really don't want someone to. Uh, I'm not sure. Is he really helping people or not? I mean, if yes, it could be fine. But he could. I am absolutely not sure if what to do. Much longer, I'm, going to need I'm absolutely not sure what to do. Okay, we found more clothes. I think you told me. The Blake Doctor. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> the Cordona suit. Okay. What do I want? Sherlock's jacket, overcoat, fashionable waistcoat. I like the Blake Doctor outfit. To be honest, I like the Cordona suit a lot. What? Well, well. Let's go with this. Um, there was something with the bonus section. Ah, okay. Good honor suit. Typewriter. <laughs> okay, well, interesting. Do you feel like a meat pie? Uh... Right. Um, yeah. The coffin won't go away and the doctor's too proud. I see. Uh, I would say we tip the police, to be honest. Wait, it said before. Watson, move. Can be found next to the mermaid thingy. The cursed mermaid pup. That should be around here. Yes, there he is. There are signs of ghosts. <laughs> no. We report him, we report him. Come on. Constable? My name is Dr. Watson. A man called Thomas Tippett has opened a field hospital nearby and is selling illegal medicine there. He is using Warehouse 2 for his smuggled product. Please stop him. I knew it was a swindle. Real ghosts don't look like that. I'll check on this crook right away. Real ghosts don't look like that. You mean real ghosts don't exist. That, that's what you wanted to say, dude. <laughs> okay, then let's head to the port and see where this... Ship exploded. Um, this means I have to talk to people about it, right? Talk to the case participant. Okay. So, where's the dude I have to find, huh? Are you Roy Salsby, bro? Oh. Not in the mood, mate. Shoo! Are you? Pardon me, sir. I am looking for Roy. Oh, not again. Yes, I'm Roy. But I can't help you find your uncle or whoever you've lost. Now what makes you think I would inquire about missing people? You are the fourth person to ask this week. Just because I work at the port doesn't mean I keep track of everyone who comes here. You say we are not the first to ask you about a disappearance. Do you recall anything about those who came inquiring? Hmm. I only remember the foreign woman. I didn't catch her name, but those are her posters hanging up everywhere. She has badgered me twice now, and I still don't know nothing. And this woman can be found? No clue. She was talking gibberish. May I ask what you're doing here? This is where the ship sank the other day. I'm trying to work out how we'll remove it. Now, where was I? Let's have a good look at him. <clears throat> five five tall average height. Many stamp ink stains. H M Cuss. Okay. 
Waldham Hillside Pocket Watch. Mint solid gold. No muscle tone, not brawny. He's of English blood, around 5 highest average build. Lack of muscle tone implies he's hardly strong. Does not seem to look like Kimi here's abductor. His left palm bears several stamp ink stains. He holds a brand new Waltham Hillside watch. I, I won't even say he's a thief, maybe he's just corrupt. I don't know. that you hired Dea's son, Girves, right before he vanished. His brother also said you had a metal eye. What do you make of this? Tell that him to stop making things up. Have you seen this before? M my card? Where did you dig that up? At a crime scene near Baker Street involving a young servant's kidnapping, I might add. I... I... No. Someone used it without my consent. How else would it end up there? That's the question, dude. That boat explosion stopped most traffic coming into the port. Guess I'll be without work for a while. The rules don't make sense. It's stupid. Oh, I didn't check this out before. Okay. This cheap pendant looks like silver, but it's only made of tin. No surprise the boy couldn't sell it. What a shame. I miss Gervais. Do you think he's okay? High profile, whatever that achievement is about, okay. Do I have anything new? Okay, I have to... Okay. If I need to. Have you ever heard of a man with a metallic eye? I've seen him even. Going to a bar is Dirty always a good summers. idea for this kind of nasty lout. stuff. They the see all people. In place of a missing eye. I shudder to ask, but where does one find a dirty Summers? He likely signed on with a ship. I am not one to spy on others, let alone him. Hmm, I see. My advice, keep away from him. Huh, prob probably good advice. Doesn't look like anything to me. Never heard of it. Doesn't look like anything to me. Have you been drinking? Never heard of it. Have you been drinking? Have you been drinking? Never heard of it. Have you been drinking? What do you know about this poster? A foreign woman asked to put it up. She's plastered them all over the port. Any clues as to her whereabouts? None. It was hard to understand what she was saying. Okay. <clears throat> oh. What? Okay. There's new stuff. Who abducted Kimi here? Hmm. We have so many testimonies. I have no fucking idea. Huh. Look at that. Dirty Summers is the abductor. Dirty Summers is Kimmy here's kidnapper. It seems that Roy Salisbury could be Summers accomplice. Alright. And where is he? Hmm. 
No one really knows, I think. He has to know, right? What? What? <laughs> Seriously? I don't have enough... Uh... Hints. Okay. Well, good to know. And let's go to the port and... Talk to... Roy Solsby again. Huh? He has to know. I think. He should. He really should. What's up, dude? What are you gawping at? At you, confront. Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. Yes. What, what makes you say that? A man named Dirty Summers was involved in some recent kidnappings across London. He used your name as a cover for his deeds. What? Really? That doesn't mean I'm involved, though. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Your calling card was found at the crime scene. That's enough to make you a suspect. You, you cannot be serious. Oh, I, I, I am serious, dude. I have no fucking idea what this I'm doing. Nothing. Sorry, you lost me there. Wait, what? Mr. A man. Your cool. It's true. No. And that's before All right. your gold watch. It's brand new and awfully expensive for a customer. Finally. Officer. Clearly you have found yourself another source of income. I'm sure Scotland Yard will be delighted to investigate further. <laughs> All right, stop. Look, it's not as it seems. Oh, really? I did not partake in the kidnappings. I'm all ears, Mr. Salisbury. Yes, I know, Summers. He paid me to turn a blind eye to his business in the warehouse area. Just that, on my word. You did not tell me which warehouse he used? I do not recall. But I use red paint to mark unsupervised warehouses. Ought to be one of them. What else can you say of Summers? He is a regular at the Cursed Mermaid. Goes there with his crew almost every evening. What for? I don't know. I assumed just for a drink. I need a little Dutch courage to walk. Right. In this box. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's let's check here. She has to know. I think. I hope at least. Why do I have the feeling that you know more about Dirty Summers than you're letting on? I have nothing more to add, sir. Enough. I have hard evidence that Summers was involved in recent kidnappings across London. I'm not surprised. So what? So what? A customs officer, Roy Salisbury, testified that Summers was a regular <coughs> here. You must know something about his business. All I know is his drinks order. Is that so? I don't fucking believe you. Yes. If missing do not concern you, then I would urge you to think about your unborn child. Are you threatening me? Nothing of the sort, but that doesn't mean that there won't be consequences for your silence. Everyone knows you happily served Summers and his crew. Should the police come knocking, you'll be the one going away. 
And none of us wish to see you raise a child behind bars. Now, spare yourself the trouble and tell me all you know. Okay, okay. Summer's hired my private room. I think he used it to recruit people, but I haven't seen him in a few days. He paid me cash, so I paid him no attention. Nor did I touch anything inside. Here's the key, go and do what you will. Just leave me out of it. Nice! Now we can... Investigate. Oh, that, I didn't see that before. Tickets to Oakmont, Massachusetts are still available, okay. Will destroy pests of any kind, okay, well. Nice. What's that? Back of my neck stood up. Hmm. Understandable. Strong man needed for moving crates in warehouse area. Fresh scratches deeply carved. Strange symbols. I don't recognize them. The Park and Williams Co. Manchester invoice number blah 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 cargo high quality sailcloth parked uh, packed in wooden crates. Okay. I thought you was looking at the food and thought Five it looked shilling. disgusting. Go far. Okay. Anyway. Uh, come on. Ah. The job is to move crates in the warehouse area. Dirty Summer's highest man in the pub's private room. Nice. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Dude, move your fucking ass. Okay. Doesn't look like anything to me. Have you been drinking? What did you see of Summer's work here? He was recruiting people. It was like the whole world came through my door. People of all creeds and colors, but always strong, always tall. They seem like workers or journeymen. Beyond that, there's not much more to tell. I took his money and let him be. And this lasted how long? Several weeks, I wager. All right. Um, that means? After the incident the other day, it seems customers are staying at home. Oh, uh, okay, we got that. Where is Kimmy here? This disappearance, yes. Let's see if that's enough. No. Oh, oh, those two are fine? Seriously? Um, the hiring notice. In the warehouse holding sales. What? Dirty Summers is hired man for warehouse work. Specifically, to carry crates of sailcloth. The abductees could still be inside the warehouse, which should be marked with red paint. Alright. Um, okay. Then, let's check the warehouse area, I'd say. Let's go. Oh, or maybe she knows. Maybe, maybe she knows. The people no. here are resilient. Tomorrow it'll all okay. be forgotten. Got it. Pin evidence. Be careful on the port, gentlemen. The fog is particularly thick tonight. Is that so? Well, thanks for the warning, I guess. So... Where do I want to go? Oh. Ah, this is where I finished an investigation, okay. Uh, Shantytown. The other warehouses. This one here, those are... Uh, those look kind of good. Oh. How does it work? What? Are you shitting me? Ah, 
Okay, now I get it. Uh, two, three, two, I think. Ah, okay. The other two need one more up. Let's go. Let's save again. I think, I think that's a good idea. Really, Holmes, this ought to be beneath you. As my brother would say, it is for the greater good. It is for the greater good. Will prevent any movement. This crank saw some use. Good quality, but torn in many spots. Mold. That's why you don't leave sailcloth lying out. So no one has been here in quite some time, I think, actually. Oh, ah, look at that. Dried mud. Port of London soil. Alright. And yeah, the fact that the window is open. No one cares about the that. Scratches are fresh, left by something metallic. There are a couple of marks on this end. All right. That's it downstairs. Let's have a look upstairs. Okay, those are th where the cranks go, I think. It's stuck. No one's used it in a very long time. Okay. Ha. Huh. This one has been used, huh? I guess. Well oiled and well maintained. Fit for a crank. Lifting mechanism. Okay, I need to lift this now. And then we can go downstairs and hopefully find everyone. Let's go. Yeah, of course. Come on. This I know. <laughs> That's why I did it. If we stay out much longer, Just I'm going as to need I some stuff. Do you feel like a meat pie? You cannot return after leaving. Be sure to finish everything you wanted to do here. I have no idea if I finished everything I wanted to do here. There was another marking on a warehouse that I did not enter. But to be honest, I have no idea where I get the, the quest for it, to be honest. Um, so worst case scenario, I'm missing one side quest now, which I really don't want. But I think I ran around everywhere and I have not found it. So I hope I did everything. I really do. Wait Let's here, go. Watson, and keep an eye on the doors. I'll scout the premises. Will do. Be careful down there. Of course. I'm always careful. And you cannot. Wait, what's happening? That's the good question. What what does it mean? I cannot return. I mean, seriously, why? Is there always? Is there every chapter a new area? Oh, all right, nice. Is this place? 
place. Where am I? That's a really good question. Holy shit. Damn. Welcome in Cthulhu's realm, I guess. Kinda looks like it. Strangely cold. Something is missing. Something is missing. Let's see if we can find it. This cannot have been under the port of London all along. Is it the only way forward is the abyss? Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to jump. I really don't want to jump into the abyss. Not a fan. Do we have to jump? Do we really have to jump? Well then, let's go. Phew. Huh. I didn't die. It is icy cold and pulsating. Pulsating? That's not good. Okay, this means... Can I get there? No, <laughs> you cannot jump. <laughs> God, this is stupid. My heart, be calm. I'm pretty sure that's a drug abuse. Ooh. Nice. Short stride. Can I... What? Kiana Kadishtu, boot prints. Alright. That's just interesting enough. Eh? Wait a second, this door was open a second ago. I don't have that much time apparently, okay. Wait, what? You shitting me? <laughs> huh, when I get closer, <laughs> it's it's closing. Okay, apparently I have to walk. If I run, it closes in front of me. Do I make that? I made it. Ha! Oh, Look so at that. Else. How? How? That, that's a really good question. It's harder to breathe here. What is that? I don't... I don't know. I want to. I really want to. Oh, no. <laughs> Holy shit! It's pat me out again! Oh fuck, I, I probably should have investigated a bit more, but it was too tempting. I had to. Come on. You serious? What is so loud here? I think I'm too stupid for that, to be honest. Oh, 
Ah, oh, now I'm here. Okay. It stares right through me. Ha! Huh. Okay, now... Yes, I'm... Okay. I'm just stupid. I didn't look at that. Alright, sesame, open up. Come on. Fuck off. Head is already spinning. When will this end? That's a fair question. What's that? Oh. Okay. There are two recesses. Two this time, but there are a handful of doors, I would say. just happened I guess it was the wrong door my personal guess what kind of trickery is this let's see what does the correct one it's not it Maybe I should look for clues instead of just like running randomly <laughs> at something. Oh, the last door of fucking course. What size nine clear edges? Okay, the the last word is always some Cthulhu stuff. There are two recesses. Yes, and I haven't found a single thing just yet. Um. Alright. Da -da -da. Oh, come on, this is incredibly annoying. You're serious? Oh, ah. Uh huh. Let's go. Oh, what's that? Ugh, the stench. Ooh. Hmm. A strange stone. It almost feels alive. Then it's not a stone. Then it's alive. We have to decide. Holy shit. That is fucking awesome. Holy damn. I love this. I love this so much. Alright, that's the first one. One down, one to go. Okay, now I have to find the second one again. Uh, okay, I did not check it the other time. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, fuck, where did I go already? Shit, I'm stupid. Okay, that's the one I already. Did right, yeah. Okay. There it is. Wait, what? Why is ah ah? <laughs> okay. Come on, how do I open this? You have to be kidding me. Uh, 
This is annoying. This is so incredibly annoying. Oh no! Fuck you, which one was it now? I think that one. Okay, yes, I have to go slow. God oh, fucking damn it. Truly revolting. Frozen Lightly to teen, teeny like tiny bit annoying. Part. Okay. That's the same picture as before. Oh well. Now we got both. That took way too long. <sighs> what? Ah. There it is again. <laughs> I get out? John? What is it, Holmes? Oh, huh, now we're him. All right, that's interesting. Do I have to go through the same shit with him now? I hope not. Holmes, where are you? He's definitely getting going crazy. I think, holy shit, what is that? All right. Holmes, Holmes, are you all right? I don't think uh, so. Fine, Watson. Um, I, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Fine. By Jove, you should have heard the way you called out my name. It was just a game of shadows. Why does it look like he's wearing makeup? Now it's not. What? I'm glad. That was weird. This place gives me the chills. What are we dealing with? Something that's finally interesting. Are we wearing makeup? Oh. Weird. Okay. Well, anyway. So. What do we have here? Broken nails, dried mud crumbs. Eh? Okay. Needle brick. His abdomen is severely bloated. Cyanosis of the lips, marks on the neck. This man was strangled. Okay. Oh, potent. This sensor has more narcotic residues. What on earth? It looks like the scribbling of madmen. Well, are you sure it is, though? I'm not sure. What do we have here? These clothes are missing buttons. They were forcefully removed. Dumpra, a staple of lecture men's attire in Nepal. Gathered from dozens of people, at the very least. I must have seen this one before. That explains my hallucinations. Ah, oh, yeah, that's where, where we just were. <laughs> Interesting. Miserable food. 
mass produced. That's not food. Scratches, bloodstains, torn fingernails. Scratches left in a frenzy. The strength it would take to carry this crate, let alone break it. A small bloodstain, but not serious. Okay, we have four, but we're still missing a lot of. Small details. Okay, up here. It seems made for simple experiments. I wager they could not afford a better set. This box contained a narcotic substance, much like the one in Kimihia's brazier. Black Edelweiss Institute established 17 something. So, next table. At least two dozen pendants, all identical and made of tin. An American passport, Amos Colby. Someone got their hands dirty painting this with blood. Date and place of birth, blah blah blah. The back of the passport features a bloody drawing. It vaguely depicts a sea creature, perhaps an octopus. Our Lord and Savior Cthulhu. Northwood Agency, any manner of discreet investigations. For you, we shall search the world. Alright. I think this is where we go next. That's a cool dagger. A like this oh, I want that dagger. That's fucking awesome. Old blood stains. It's a Cthulhu dagger. Holy shit, I want that. Seriously. Okay, we found everything in here. Now we go to this room over here. I think there's more. There has to be more. Look at that. Who are these people? A really good question. Holy shit. So many people. I hope we are close to finding our answers. This place is unsettling. It is. Definitely is. Okay, and this... I don't find anything more here, so... The last clue has to be here somewhere. Holmes, are you sure you've left no stone unturned? Uh, I would love to say yes, but apparently no. something ah yeah okay that's more <laughs> got it mud intentional drawing someone used mud to draw a cross in a rectangle why blood human hair okay these clothes were crudely cut off someone an American judging by the style <laughs> and the last one here at least come on look at it fine rope work cut by a finer blade Cthulhu figurine I can talk with him. 
Cthulhu, Rilia, Waganagal, Fatagan. What? What? On, what on earth? How is that possible? Curiosity killed the cat. I told you that black cat was a bad omen. Couldn't <laughs> be here. Oh, nice. Now, um, let's start over there. Let's see. Did they throw it themselves or was it ripped off of them? I think it was ripped off of them because he said the buttons were missing. Thrown in. Broken open. No. There were too many scratch marks and f I think fingernail marks, it said even. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely hmm, not the, the not so fun version of it. Alright. Yeah, that, that's perfectly possible. What else is there? One single person? One single crazy person? I'm not sure. That's perfectly possible. So, what's here? Hmm? Yes? Uh, it was cut by a fine blade, he said. So I think this might be it. What do we have here? Some kind of ritual. He was strangled. Oh wait, there are three options here. What was that? Okay, and what else? Ah, okay. Um, I'm not sure. I will save. Oh, I cannot save. Interesting. Let's check. Many people were brought to this place. Their abductors stripped off their clothes and discarded them in a pile. Can I be wrong and it, you just don't tell me? A few try to resist, but alas, in vain. After a few days, everyone was stuffed in a crate and sent elsewhere. Shit. One captive was left behind. He was strangled to death on this altar. The hell is happening, Holmes? Calm yourself. Cannot be. What is it? Oh, my God. Please tell me we found all we needed to, Holmes. I think we found a bit more than that. Yet we have no clue as to where those people have been taken. And that's where you're wrong, Watson. We have more than enough. I just need to connect the dots. How about you pack your suitcase in the meantime, my dear fellow? Just in case. Just in case. So we're still in chapter two. Apparently. It's hard to know how much to pack. I might bring a spare notebook just in case. Um, I assume chapter 3 will start as soon as I leave. Who is the dead man on the altar? I probably don't know, right?
That is correct. Ha! I knew it. Amos Colby from the North. What? The man on the altar was a private detective from the Northwood Agency in Boston. Mr. Colby may have been investigating the disappearances before getting caught and killed by the perpetrators. Shit. Where have the abducted been sent to? Hmm. Uh, that could be helpful, actually. Holy shit. Uh, oh. The hiring notice might be relevant. Ah, shit. Maybe we can decipher the strange symbols somehow, no? Come on. Yes, okay. Black Edelweiss Institute, Switzerland. The abductees are headed for the Black Edelweiss Institute, established in the 1700s. It lies somewhere in Switzerland. Alright, nice. Search this in the archives. Okay. Press space to start your research in the archives. Okay, this is helpful actually. Um Huh. Okay, uh date. 1700s location Europe date of activity Black Edelweiss. I don't know what they do. Hmm. Probably some kind of medicine institute, right? Huh. Uh, yes. Interlaken, Switzerland. By Professor Keller, the institute specializes in mental illnesses and addictions. It is currently headed by Professor Gygax. Dr. Watson, how does a trip to Switzerland sound to you? It sounds unexpected. What makes you think we should head there? It's all about the box with narcotics and Mr. Colby's clue, the cross inside a rectangle. Put two and two together, add a dash of research, and what do you get? the Black Edelweiss Institute in Interlaken, Switzerland. If we hurry, we can still catch tonight's train. Whispers in the dark. As grateful as I have been for your company, Dr. Watson, I'm afraid you shall have to investigate Edelweiss alone. Alone? Mr. Hopes, I fear you overestimate my abilities. Nonsense. You are a military man, a bastion of British courage. I'm no such thing. As a doctor, I avoided most combat, save for one dreadful day. My troop was ambushed in a village with innocents caught in the crossfire. Too many to help. The man with the rosary. He was one of them? A translator, yes. We were trapped. Six soldiers and myself. I thought it was the end. But Lieutenant Paget refused to go quietly. The men prepared for a final stand. I rose to follow, but Paget shook his head. He told me to run. That I had other men to save. They charged. And I fled through the rear. So you see, Mr. Holmes, I am a coward. The logic seems inescapable. Yes. You, a surgeon by trade, would have been perfectly useless in that conflict. What? No. And how many men have you helped since? Ailments eased, troubles tended? No more than a handful. Truth be told, I have become somewhat of a recluse. How many people could you help with 30 years ahead of you? Dozens? Hundreds? Hatchet was correct. You can cease your self-recrimination. Holmes, I... I don't know what to say. I would start with, I am Dr. John Watson, may I look around? <laughs> I think that's a good starter. <laughs> 